The purpose of the Ignition Lab is to provide a kind of a platform for ecosystem players to work uh, together. And we would like to connect the, the Turkish startups, Turkish uh, companies to the Intel R&D network and come up with the local solutions that can be uh, work in Turkey and outside of Turkey. When we look at our region, uh, there are uh, we don't see many worldwide global, you know, uh, internet uh, startups or companies. Uh, there are of course very big companies, but uh, if you look at the uh, kind of internet startup movement, uh, we don't see that much uh, from the region. But with the Internet of Things now, there is a big opportunity for those companies, for new companies, to come up with new ideas, new business models. The Ignition Lab as a program was a, a, a co-owned program between Intel Labs and our IoTG group. So uh, we already had an office and lab in Istanbul and we decided to co-host the Ignition Lab, bring the physical space and the demos inside the lab and host our partners inside the lab and that's how it started. Over the years we have developed a very strong Android framework which enabled us to put together uh, 1800, over 1800 APIs that allows us to make Android uh, as an industrial Android, enterprise grade Android, which brings security, controllability, all these functions, which is perfectly fit as the IoT uh, gateway uh, solution. We believe with great passion, we will be the world leader on IoT service deployment rapidly rolling out across the globe. So this is perfectly match uh, made in heaven. We have in mind the design thinking. You have to have workshop space, a creative space where you can do ideation. And we try to make that happen inside the lab with all the decoration and the different locations. Uh, recently, uh, we have developed the, uh, the IoT solution uh, to monitor the members of the uh, school or university. With our application, we are able to tell the exact location in an indoor uh, environment uh, of the people. And uh, we use the uh, very popular standard personal activity tracker devices. Uh, we are expecting to make the big launch uh, in the next school year. Our company is called Infodiv. It's, uh, it's a software company which focuses on video surveillance and intelligent video analytics solutions. Uh, we have two demonstrations here. One of them is our, from our traffic video analytics in which we compute automatically traffic jam, uh, average speed and some incidents such as a pedestrian gets inside the tunnel or a highway. And also we demonstrate a face detection, recognition and gender est estimation. At the moment, we're preparing for uh, Intel Technology Conference uh, 2016. That's going to happen tomorrow. So uh, we just had a few runs, few rehearsals with the dancers, and we're really getting ready for the stage show. It's actually a hot couture dress. It's handmade. Uh, inside the dress, we've got Intel uh, Edison system and chip. Uh, there are four different butterflies that are static, that are tied to the dress. And also we have a sensor there that detects uh, whether a person is standing close or far away from the dress. So as someone approaches the dress, the butterflies actually sink and start to flap their wings even faster. And if you still carry on approaching the dress, the butterflies, the other set of butterflies, actually launch off the dress. The main key mission of the English Labs is to actually ignite things, to actually start a, a conversation between different parties. We have all sorts of uh, people from all sorts of different backgrounds coming into the uh, lab to get inspiration, to talk to us, to actually understand what is possible. This event is called Intel Technology Conference. Uh, we are showing different verticals and how they utilize these technologies. We have some of the partners from the lab in this event and they're showcasing their technologies to the audience, to the greater audience at their own booths. And we believe that's how we pass the message to the uh, ecosystem. Using a simple model that we have here, we're displaying a combined uh, three different technologies integrated via a gateway to our own cloud platform. Here's a box with a RFID tag uh, on it. I'll put this on here, start the demo, 
Right now it's measuring uh, the scale, is, using, uh, is measuring it, and the RFID tag is reading the tag itself and uh, identified which box we're doing. And the scale weighed it and we can see it in our user interface how, how much, how many grams it was. So this could be used in different technologies in different use cases, for example for stock control. Uh, weight, we're planning to use that for waste management. So we are uh, introducing a product right now, Amis 50, nurse cart. So all the time when nurses uh, is using uh, uh, this product, it would be connected to a hospital information system. They, they would be uh, putting all process inside the product and it will connect uh, to HIS system uh, on time. The most important thing is that this battery should uh, give power to the system maybe more than 10 hours. Why? Because the shift time is around eight hours, needed two hours for charging. So energy consumption is very important for this kind of uh, products. We should be getting some help from uh, IoT lab at the same time. So um, it would be great, uh, important for us to uh, get such kind of uh, support from Intel directly. So anyone can work with us here. We come up with lots of workshops, lots of prototyping sessions. Uh, but it's not only encapsulated here, it's only part of a big Intel family uh, or Intel platform. And it's a start on opening gates for Intel world. So we invite everyone to work with us here. Our company is called Neurotouch. We focus on producing interactive hardware and software for uh, large scale touch technologies. And we are a very new partner, but Intel's positioning as the, uh, I would say, maybe the accelerator of innovation uh, among its partners was also a very uh, good thing for us because we felt supported and, and we felt that we are in a very powerful network. We have a very young entrepreneurs who are very hungry to, to invent and to innovate. That makes uh, Turkey as a very good hub for IoT place. There are a lot of players in this market which have to come together, collaborate towards a certain solution. And in the labs, I think of it as we are connecting the unconnected stakeholders to bring these solutions to life.